My name is Maddie Hokinson, and I'm an Ag Communications and Ag Leadership student at South Dakota State from Goodhue, Minnesota. So I grew up on a cattle and pig farm in the southeast corner of Minnesota, and that's really where my spark and passion for agriculture began. Uh, I was able to be one of the inaugural pig farmers of tomorrow with the National Pork Board, traveling across the country, speaking on behalf of agriculture and helping people to understand where their food comes from, really. So I think the biggest thing that I've been able to take away from school is the people that I've met. Laura Berg, I would say, would be one that really made a difference in my life. She focused so much on making sure that I was given all the tools I needed, you know, taking the extra hour or two or three to sit down even when there was plenty else going on. And I think that's something that a lot of faculty at SDSU encompass. I wrote a speech that I hope really resonates with a few people. I know that it's something that comes from the heart. I'm so excited to be able to go and present that to everybody at commencement and I hope that it makes a difference in where they go from here and where their lives end up.
and guests, the 133rd commencement processional will start soon. The audience may remain seated for the student processional and stand as able for the entry of the platform party and the colors. At the conclusion of the ceremony, those in attendance are asked to please be respectful and stay seated until all students have been recognized as graduates and the platform party has recessed from the stage and the student recessional has started. Thank you for your cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the 2019 graduating class from South Dakota State University. Today's graduates represent a broad range of academic disciplines. Some traced to the university's earliest days and others developed in response to the needs of the state and region. Founded in 1881, the state's Morrill La Act land grant institution, South Dakota State, improves the quality of life through exemplary teaching, relevant research, and connected outreach. South Dakota State University is located on the ancestral territory of the Ocheti Shakoe, an alliance that consisted of the Santi, Yankton, and Teton Lakota. The full land acknowledgement found on page 10 of your program serves as a reminder that before this site was called SDSU, it was home to the native nations indigenous to this location. Under the leadership of Interim Dean Roberta Olson, candidates in the College of Nursing are led by their banner carrier, lecturer Becca Forster. and members of the Van D. and Barbara B. Fishback Honors College are represented by their banner carrier, Professor Ross Abraham. Under the leadership of Dean Bruce Berdanier, candidates in the Jerome J. Lohr College of Engineering are represented by banner carrier, Associate Dean and Distinguished Professor Dennis Helder.
leadership of Dean John Killifer. Candidates in the College of Agriculture and Biological Sciences are led by their banner carrier, Assistant Department Head and Professor Nels Trellstrup. Under the leadership of Dean Charlene Wolf Hall, candidates of the College of Natural Sciences are represented by their banner carrier, Associate Professor Madhav Nepal. Under the leadership of Provost Dennis Hedge, faculty are led by Marshals, Assistant Department Head and Professor Donna Flint, and Professor Cody Wright, and by their banner carrier, Professor Ann Fennell. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand.
Under the leadership of President Barry Dunn, the platform party is led by honorary marshals, Professor Emerita Carol Johnston, and Professor Ali Reza Selenia. The mace, carried by Dr. Carol Johnston, signifies the authority and pageantry of commencement academic conferences. Honorary marshals and the processional in recognition of distinguished service to the university. Information about today's speakers and honorary marshals is printed in the program. Professor Carol Johnston has served as the Department of Natural Resources Management since 2003. During her time there, she has brought in 3.59 million in grant awards. She is the most cited author at SDSU with more than seven books and 169 research papers. Alireza Selenia, Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences, has served SDSU since 1989. He was co-PI of a $1.2 million Omega STEM granted scholarship through the National Science Foundation. He has published more than 40 peer-reviewed papers and presented at more than 50 national and international conferences. He advised more than 300 undergraduate students and mentioned 30 STEM, mentored 30 STEM scholarship recipients. President Dunn, Regent Mickelson, distinguished guests, member of the faculty, administrative leadership at the university, graduates, family, and friends of the graduates and ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to the 2019 commencement ceremony of South Dakota State University, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Army ROTC cadets Jacob Burton and Cordell Buick, and Air Force ROTC cadets Gavin Doring and Benjamin Williams, and the playing of our national anthem by the symphonic band. Please remain standing until the colors are posted and the anthem finished.
You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of South Dakota State University, Barry H. Dunn. Good morning, everyone. It is my privilege to serve as the 20th president of South Dakota State University and to welcome you to the university's 133rd commen commencement. Isn't it a beautiful day for a graduation? And thank you for being part of this special day of recognition and, so, and of celebration. More than 1,600 undergraduate students have completed degree requirements during spring semester, bringing the total number of undergraduate degrees conferred this academic year to more than 2,800. This morning's ceremony is for students receiving an associate or a baccalaureate degree in the College of Nursing, the Jerome J. College of Engineering, the College of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Sciences, and the College of Natural Sciences, College of, College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions, the College of Education and Human Sciences, and the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences will be recognized at the 2 p.m ceremony later today. Students receiving master's degrees, doctor of philosophy degrees, doctor of nursing practice, or doctor of pharmacy degrees will be recognized in the graduate ceremony at 5 p.m. this afternoon. As you can imagine, an event, an event like this relies on the collaboration and efforts of many, many people. So I'd like to briefly recognize a few of them now the joint ROTC color guard, our admissions ambassadors who served as ushers and greeters today, assistant department head and professor of mathematics and statistics Donna Flint, and professor of animal science Cody Wright, who served as faculty marshals assisting the students and faculty in the profession, processional this morning, and the symphonic band under the direction of Jacob Wallace, assistant professor of music, and Kevin Kessler, Director of Athletic Bands. Please help me in thanking them for their contributions to this very special day. I would also like to thank our honorary marshals who were introduced earlier, Dr. Carol Johnston and Dr. Ali Salinia. Would you please step forward? Please join me in recognizing them as well. <clears throat> it is now my pleasure to introduce those members of the platform party participating in today's ceremony who will not be introduced later in the program. I ask them to stand and be recognized. Please hold your applause until all of them have been introduced. Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Lynn Sargent. Jill Thorngren, Dean of the College of Education and Human Sciences. Jane Mort, Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Allied Health Professions. Chief University Librarian, Christy Tornquist. And the Dean of the Van D. and Barbara B. Fishback Honors College, Rebecca Bott Knudsen. Thank you for being part of today's celebration. I would also like to recognize and thank all of the parents and friends and loved ones who are here to share this very special day with today's graduates. You have provided your support and encouragement in countless ways over these past years. Members of the graduating class of 2019, that's you, please rise to recognize and thank your parents, friends, and loved ones for their support with a round of applause. Let them know how much you appreciate them.
We are honored today to have Larry Tiedemann, former Associate Dean and Cooperative Extension Director in the College of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Science, and former legislator for District 7, here to share a message with the graduates. Tiedemann served SDSU for 32 years and then served the constituents of District 7 for 14 years as both a senator and a representative. Larry continued to serve his alma mater, SDSU, throughout his time in Pierre. More than $500 million in building projects for SDSU were authorized during his time on the Appropriations Committee. As a personal friend and former, co former colleague, Larry, we are honored you are here today to share a message with today's graduates. Please help me and welcome Larry to the podium. President Dunn, Provost Head, Regent Mickelson, stage party, faculty, parents, family, friends. It is truly an honor to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. Graduates, there is someone here today who helped you grow up on solid ground. Your parents, your neighbors, teachers, coaches. There are many here today who provided you a great foundation to build on. They helped you find solid ground. By solid ground, I mean things such as values, common sense, and your ability to think through problems. The seeds for these were all planted by family and important people in your life. Today, you are graduating from a land-grant university. Remember what that does for you. It is a tremendous opportunity and pre prepares you to make a difference in the world. I once read that the purpose of life is to discover your gift. The meaning of life is giving your gift away. I hope that over the last few years, you have discovered your gift. Hopefully, you have also inherited a bit of the Midwest work ethic. That sells across the country. Do not undersell that opportunity. It's a great attribute and one of the things that will help you accomplish your goals. As some of you may have heard, you can go anywhere from here. But guess what? Here, right in the state of South Dakota, is part of anywhere. Don't forget that. We hope that many of you will stay in South Dakota because we need your talents and we need your gifts here in our state. When I was asked to give today's commencement address, I thought about my own graduation on May 31st, 1970. It was outside at Sylvan Theater. It was another cold spring like we've had this year, but we had made it through it. The commencement address was given by Donald Craig, a vice president for General Electric, who had earned his degree from South Dakota State College in 1932. His title of his speech was Today's Need for Leadership. No different than what is today, we need your skills and talents for leadership. You may be wondering if it was such a great speech that his words left a lasting impression on me. Well, I have to be honest and say I really don't recall the speech. So much for graduation speeches. I can only say thanks to my mom, who saved that commencement program, and my wife, Gail, who found it. My mom was a keeper of a lot of things. Today, we would call it hoarding. However, there was a message that did leave a lasting impression on me. What I remember most about my graduation day was my ROTC commissioning. My grandfather, who was a World War I veteran, was there that day. He had served in France during the war and crawled through the trenches. He was injured in service and lived the rest of his life with only one functional lung. As I walked off the stage that day and I headed to the back, I saw my grandpa in the back of the room. Our 
commissioning was in the barn. We had a lot of commissioned officers in 1970. As I headed to the back, I saw him raise up from his chair with his two canes to prop himself up. And when I came around the back of the crowd, he straightened his back and saluted me. I have never forgotten that moment. It was an honor, and I saluted him back. It was because he had done so much fighting to keep our freedoms, and I was just this green lieutenant. I never really took the opportunity to thank him for that special moment and how it helped me in shaping and helping me find my solid ground. So today, I hope there's someone here today, maybe a parent, a family member, a faculty member, a coach, a neighbor, somebody who made a lasting impression on you. Do take the time to say thanks before it's too late. I also want to thank those of you in the audience, our veterans, who have served, or those of you who are serving to protect our freedom. I especially want to thank the veterans from my era, the Vietnam vets. Please join me in thanking them for their service. They deserve that tribute. So what does living your life on solid ground mean? For me, growing up on a small farm in South Dakota helped me develop my Midwestern work ethic. I often said that we performed our functions with Armstrong and Backbreaker. Those were our engineering skills that we could use. We learned the value of hard work, and with hard work comes reward. It meant that the sooner we were done with our chores and they were completed, we had more time to play. It was be before a time of social media, video games, and Twitter. My two brothers and I played basketball in the loft of the barn. The floor was not real flat. You know, they kind of ribbed. And so dribbling was a real challenge. So when we got to play on a regular basketball court, dribbling came real easy. But we had to be very creative to lift that eight by 10 foot board up to 10 feet in the air because we were not that strong, but we did have ingenuity. They were called hay bales. And we stacked them up and then we could raise it up on top of that and then attach it to the wall. We also used the twine strings that came from the bales that we fed the cows hay and made the net with that. We didn't have to worry about slam dunking, we weren't that tall. But that net is still there today in our homesteaded barn after 50 years. So maybe we can have different nets. My first job out of college was a test of my leadership skills. I worked for the South Dakota Cooperative Extension Service in Lincoln County. Water is probably the most important resource in the world that we have. And at that time, there were very few rural water systems in South Dakota. Today, there's over 36 covering the state. In 1972, South Lincoln residents said they didn't need a rural water system. They had great quality water. But after a drought in 76 and 77, things changed. A man I knew, Dale Kennedy, called me and said, we need to start a rural water system down here. And Either we're going to get it as a totally new system or connect to the clay rural water system or the Lincoln rural water system. And you're going to lead us through the process. Now, my, my degrees from SDSU were in dairy and dairy nutrition. I knew cows needs, but how do you organize and help people develop a rural water system? So I had to go back to my 4-H skills and remember how to run the meeting and to bring people together. A rural water system is a huge undertaking. As a kid, the home where I grew up, we had running water. We ran out to get it and ran back in. In the wintertime, we ran faster and didn't fill the bucket quite so full. 
I was 16 years old before we had real running water, so water was a real passion of mine. Building a rural water system took three years of study, raising the dollars, selling the concept, and getting easements. I guess you could say engineering and agriculture worked together to get it done. Today, that area of the state, Lincoln County, is the fastest growing community in the state because water was provided. Often, that the moral of the story, if you're going to lead, you sometimes have to learn new skills and knowledge, and most importantly, be adaptable. I've often heard that leadership isn't about power, it's about service. Following 32-year career with the Cooperative Extension Service, I knew my service rule was not done. An opening for the House of Representatives in District 7 was available, and I was encouraged to run. After being elected moved to my first term in the South Dakota House of Representatives, I was fortunate enough to be placed on the Appropriations Committee and had the opportunity to work with a great mentor. He taught me the process and stated, if you follow, always follow the process, you will be fair to all. Those were sound words of advice. He also said, listen, 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 think, 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 and then speak. If you speak too often, people tend not to listen. One of the things I observed since I was first elected in 2004 is that civility in politics has waned. We need to go back to expecting our leaders to discuss and disagree with respect and work to find common ground. While sometimes that may be difficult, it is a challenge I want to place in your hands. As the next generation of leaders, always remember to lead with civility and respect for others. No one person has all the answers. Listen to others and find the best solutions. When I look back over the past 14 years in the legislature, a part of the experience that was the most rewarding was working with the SDSU students and leadership on bills they wanted passed. One of the first bills I helped carry was the SDSU Wellness Center. You see, 15 years ago, that was just a patch of grass. And now it's located there on campus for students and for the community. At that time, the student leaders had done their homework, they had done the research, looked at the financing, and also looked and sold the need. While I'm proud of the building, I'm more proud of what those student leaders have done since they graduated. They have become leaders in the state and across the world. I expect the same of all of you. <clears throat> Another bill that I was asked to help carry for the students was the Good Samaritan Bill. I carried it five times. It died four times. It taught me that it was a great lesson in failure. Each time the Senate would pass it and the House would kill it. But we kept on working on it with better education and finally got it passed. Again, I'm so proud of how the student leaders could articulate the need for the bill and also involve in the right way. They did it respectfully. And you know, sometimes they disagreed with the decision. I also want to thank President Dunn along with the presidents who came before him, like President Cheekman and President Miller, for their leadership and vision to grow the campus. They took the time to imagine what could be done and help find the support, the dollars, to get it done. As, the lead, as I leave the podium today, students, I want to challenge you to make a difference. Our world is one in which over 2.1 billion lack access to clean water where a billion people live on less than the equivalent of $1 a day, where over a million children are denied access to education, and where 35% of the world lack basic sanitation. Last week, my wife Gail and I traveled to Uganda to visit two former SDSU graduates who have moved back to help their country move forward. While we were there, we saw young kids from the rural villages hauling 
multiple five-gallon containers of water to bring it home so that they could either cleanse or drink. We all, you and I, have much left to do to make our world a better place. While problems will come up as you stand on solid ground, where you have been planted, where you planted yourself, ne never let failure stand in the way of what you can accomplish in the right place at the right time. A metaphor, I saw a quote, a metaphor that made a lot of sense about solving problems. You need to dig at the roots rather than just hack at the leaves. But I'll leave you with another challenge. After you dig out the roots, remember to smooth out the ground, the soil, to provide for something good to grow in its place. Make it solid ground. I hope you have found your solid ground. Stand firm on the values that you have learned. I hope that you choose to make South Dakota the place you will call home. We need you as leaders. But wherever you decide to go, just make sure you plan to make a positive difference in the world. Go Jacks. Thank you, Larry. We very much appreciate your remarks today and your invaluable service to South Dakota State University. With that, it is my great pleasure to award you with an honorary degree in public service. I ask Provost Dennis Hedge and Vice President for Research and Economic Development Daniel Scholl to assist me in the following presentation. The South Dakota Board of Regents Policy 218 describes an honorary doctorate degree as its highest honor bestowed upon individuals who have achieved distinction in their professions and have rendered outstanding contributions or service to the people of South Dakota, among other criteria. Today, for outstanding contributions to the state of South Dakota and our university, it is my great honor to confer upon Larry Tiedemann an honorary doctor of public service degree. The university takes pride in all of its graduates, but faculty and administrators take special pride in those who have achieved high levels of academic excellence. I welcome to the podium Provost Hedge, who will recognize those students graduating with academic honors. Provost Hedge. Earning a degree takes hard work and commitment. A special group of graduates deserve extra recognition today. These students have reached the highest levels of academic achievement. The program notes those members of this year's class whose academic achievements have earned them the distinction of graduating with honors, as well as those who are graduating from the Fishbeck Honors College. In addition, SDSU initiates students into the National Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Members are elected from every branch of the arts, sciences, humanities, and the professional colleges. Only those in the top 10% of their senior class are eligible for election to Phi Kappa Phi. This morning, we recognize those who have achieved this high scholastic record. Will all graduates who are graduating with honors, those graduating with Honors College Distinction, and those who have joined Phi Kappa Phi, please stand so that you may be recognized. Please stand. We also have students from across the colleges who have prepared to become teachers. Will those graduates who have completed the teacher education curriculum for certification as teachers please rise so that you may be recognized.
And now, I'm pleased to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Sewell, Professor of Military Science for Army ROTC, and Lieutenant Colonel Brian Schroeder, Professor of Aerospace Studies for Air Force ROTC. They will recognize the candidates for commissions. Gentlemen. Thank you, Provost Hedge. It is my distinct uh, privilege to announce the students who were also commissioned as second lieutenants in both the Air Force and Army ROTC programs. When your name is read, please stand and be recognized. For Air Force, Jacob Carlson, Maria Corio, Bram Pickner, Amanda Raber, Mitchell Selkin, Coral Franklin, and Chase Meyer. For the Army, Jeremy Rodriguez, Nathan Stafford, Christian Trainer, Samantha Williams, Brendan Heitreter, Blake Hess, Aaron Holdsclaw, Emma Nyquist, and Trent Canupi. Andy Folberg is a 1999 graduate of South Dakota State University and president and CEO of South Dakota State University Alumni Association. Ms. Folberg will bring greetings to the graduates as they transition from students to alumni. Andy? Every time. Thank you, President Dunn. Good morning, graduates. It is an honor to be with you here today and officially welcome you as you join over 90,000 individuals who have graduated from this institution. Your hard work and achievements have led you to this day, and we are very proud to have you as part of the growing alumni family. 19 years ago and 362 days ago, I was in your place, excited about what the next chapter would bring. Today, you ring the bell for the yellow and blue as you enter the new phase of your life as a jackrabbit. We at the South Dakota State University Alumni Association are excited to welcome you to the alumni ranks as you join a growing list of staters who continue to lead their chosen industries and communities. This is a very special place. The people here have prepared you to do great things, and we can't wait to hear about them. When many of you arrived on this campus as freshmen just a few years ago, you attended fall convocation. At this event, you were given a unique coin. On the coin are the words, once a student, forever an alum. You were then encouraged to take the coin, drop it in a giant cowbell, and make a wish about your college career. Today, we'd like to think that you received your wish. After receiving your diploma today, each member of the graduating class will receive this coin from a member of the Alumni Association staff. We promised that we would return it to you, and today we fulfill that promise. And yes, obviously, it is the exact same coin. <laughs> As you will walk across the stage, you will be closing a chapter of your life, but at the same time, you will be opening another. As you leave this place as a student, remember that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you will always be a member of the South Dakota State University family. We at the Alumni Association are very proud of you and look forward to helping you stay connected to your alma mater and hope you will visit often. I would now ask all alumni in the audience, faculty, and staff to please stand and greet the newest members of the alumni family. Today and forevermore, you will be Jackrabbits. Congratulations, Jackrabbits, and best of luck to you all. Thank you very much, Andy. Vice President for Student Affairs, Michaela Willis, 
will now introduce this year's graduating senior speaker. Michaela? An important and traditional part of our commencement ceremonies is an opportunity for a member of the graduating class to address the gathering. Maddie Hokinson graduates today with a degree in agricultural communication, education, and leadership. During her time at SDSU, she enhanced her academic experience with her involvement in Little I, Agriculture Communications of Tomorrow, and Sigma Alpha Agricultural Sorority. She was one of the inaugural Pig Farmers of Tomorrow with the National Pork Board. Today, she graduates with her husband, Eric, and they are excited to continue their family's farming operation when they move back to Southeast Minnesota. Please join me in welcoming Maddie Hokinson. Good morning. I would like to give a huge thank you to the family, friends, and support system of myself and of every graduate that is sitting here today in these seats. Without every one of you, both here and at home, I know that I wouldn't be where I am today, and I know that none of us would. So thank you very much for everything you've done. Why are we here today? Let me ask that again. Why are we here today? Now that may seem like a simple question with a simple answer at first. But when you take the time to dig a little bit deeper, we realize that it could mean a lot of things. As we dive to learn more about that why, I want to start off by telling you this. You are enough. No matter the position or career that you have chosen for your life beyond college, society has and will continue to tell us that the six figure positions with large corporations are the only way to show that you truly are enough, the top dog, successful, and fully utilizing your degree that you've obtained here at State. But I stand before you today telling you differently. Those of you committing your lives to working in local clinics and hospitals, taking care of those around you, you are enough. If you have a dream of taking over your family's business, whatever it might be, you too are enough. For those of you seeking higher education in any program, you are enough. And for those who are choosing those six-figure positions someday with those large corporations, the same goes for you. You see, it isn't about the money, the title, or the fame and glory that goes along with whatever lies beyond you, beyond those doors. Instead, it's about how you found a passion for your life and determining the best way to live it out. One of the best books I've had the chance to read was entitled Start With Why by Simon Sinek. When explaining anything, most people start with what. What is your job title? What do you do every day? Then they move into the how portion. How do you become successful? How do you go about completing those tasks every day? But rarely are people able to boil it down to why. Why do you get out of bed in the morning? Why do you do what you do? And even less often are people able to start by explaining that why. Now, my why is still being formed, just like it is probably for almost everyone here. But today, it sounds something like this. My why is to ensure a successful, thriving future in agriculture for generations yet to come. Now, some days, that's going to mean traveling the country, speaking on behalf of the things we do on our farms and ranches. And other days, it will mean staying home with a family I hope to have someday, instilling in them the values and morals in the same way that they were instilled in me. But you see, it isn't about the specific task that you're completing each and every day. It's about how those tasks add together to fit into the larger portion of your why in life. Now, I'm not up here today to talk about agriculture. That just happens to be the industry that I found myself in and love very much. But the same can go for any of you in all degrees and all professions, whether it's nursing, engineering, research, or truly anything. 
find your own why and encircle every part of your life in it, and it's bound to lead you to success. For the last year, four years, we've all come to know and love this University of SDSU and the community that surrounds it in Brookings. The people, the opportunities, and the endless support system that's automatically built in, whether that's mentors or anybody else. Change is a scary thing, but it's the only sure thing that we have in life. So why don't we embrace that scary thought of change and work hard to find what each of our own whys could be? Now, how do we find our whys beyond college? I would like to leave you with a few bits of wisdom that I've heard over the years from the woman that has influenced me more than anyone else, my mom. First, seek to be someone worth knowing than to be someone well-known. This world is filled with people who are eager to put on a show for anyone who's willing to watch. The most unique thing you can do is to live your own life for a cause that you truly believe in. And when you do that with passion, others will have no choice but to notice. Second, it all starts with a whisper. Now I realize this one may need some explanation. Have you ever dealt with a situation, good or bad, and after it was all said and done, thought, why didn't I just listen right away? The signs were there the first time. It could be with a relationship, with a job, or anything else. But God starts with a whisper when directing us down the correct path for our life. However, when we're too busy in this loud world to hear those whispers, they'll continue to get louder and louder and louder until all of a sudden we realize what it is that we must do. But if we're able to listen to those whispers that happen the first time, it's going to make things a lot simpler down the road. And last, in every situation, you'll love it or you'll learn something. So many times we paralyze ourselves from making any decision in fear of making the wrong one. But what we all need to realize is that in every situation, we have the chance for it to work out well and we love it or at least we're going to learn something and grow as a result. Either way, we're becoming better in the end, and it can still be a positive experience. So let me go back to the first question. Why are we here today? Surrounded by future agriculturists, bridge builders, and chemists, we gather here in Frost Arena to culminate our college careers. And no matter your why, that is truly enough, because you embody the excellence that is the Jackrabbit legacy. But it goes so much further than that. I'm here to build a life for the generations I'll never meet. What about you? Thank you, Maddie, for your inspirational speech. I am pleased to invite the honor, Honorable David Mickelson of the South Dakota Board of Regents to the podium to authorize the conferral of degrees. Regent Mickelson. Uh, thank you, President Dunn, and good morning. I'm delighted to be here today and greeting you on behalf of the South Dakota Board of Regents. Uh, we join your family, friends, and loved ones today in congratulating you on your achievements. The board knows how hard you have worked to earn your university de degree. The board also thanks you for your commitment to higher education here in South Dakota. The state, the nation, and the world will also benefit from the success that you have achieved. A university degree is something that you will always have and can never be diminished. Please accept our most sincere wishes of personal and professional successes. I'm relatively new to the Board of Regents, and this is my first commencement. I asked other board members for any tips for success. And I was told unanimously, keep it short. <laughs> With that being said, under the laws of the state of South Dakota, as a representative of the South Dakota Board of Regents, I hereby delegate to President Barry H. Dunn the authority to confer the various degrees at this commencement. Thank you again, and best wishes to all the graduates.
Thank you, Regent Mickelson. The candidates for the associate and bachelor degrees will be presented by the faculty senate representative, Professor Ann Fennell. The students, is this not on? The students whose names appear on the printed program for the commencement have been approved by the faculty of South Dakota State University and the South Dakota Board of Regents to receive the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of General Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelors of Science, or Associate Degrees upon satisfactory completion of the degree requirements. Will those who are to receive these degrees please stand? <laughs> President Dunn, I take pleasure in presenting these candidates to you in order that you may confer upon them the appropriate degree in their respective fields. Thank you, Dr. Fennell. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the Board of Regents of Higher Education of the State of South Dakota, I confer upon each of you the de degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of General Studies, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Landscape Architecture, Bachelor of Science, or Associate of Arts or Associate of Science in your chosen field upon satisfactory completion of the degree requirements with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. The candidates for these degrees will now present themselves to the stage for recognition you will come forward by college and be congratulated by your dean of, the dean of your college. Those of you waiting for your college to be called, please be seated. Indiv individual graduates will be announced by Toby Euchre, Associate Director for Living, Learning, and Outreach in Residential Life. Roberta Olson, Interim Dean of the College of Nursing, will introduce the graduates of the College of Nursing. President Dunn, the following graduates of the College of Nursing are professional nurses prepared to provide evidence-based care to promote the health of all people. Catherine Beck. Leah Bertolini. Emily Bertolato, Michaela Musser, Zachary Berkland, Savannah Bolches, Alan Breck, Curtis. Broad, Paige Boltina, Mackenzie Booz, Carly Byrne, Shannon Chase, JC Chorlton, Savannah Conyers. Maria Corio, Megan DeBoer, Carly Dockendorf, Abby Drew, Brianna Erickson, Kylie Essen, Colin Fanton, Kennedy Fast, Abby Feldheim, Kayla Flanagan, Coral Franklin, 
Alyssa Friesner. Victoria Gallus. Carly Goranovsky. Gabrielle Graham. Bailey Groose. Sarah Hawk. Kalisha Hagman. Alexis Hansen McNeil. Allison Harris. Shelby Hauswettel. Tara Hines. Dallas Hellman. Jessica Henkel. Kristen Holmberg. Marin Howard. Alicia Hunter. Anna Iverson. Rachel Jansen. Megan Jensen. Ellen Julius. Abigail Kephart. Rebecca Klein. Taylor Knudsen. Morgan Laub. Morgan Lavoy. Corey Lindquist. Hannah Lund. Emily Mabon. Jordan Marotz. Lauren McCreary. Kristen McGee. Morgan McKinney. Alyssa Meyer. Allison Metzger. Samantha Meyer. Antonia Montoya. Amy Mormon. Krista Motzko. Kaylee Muller. Chloe Nielsen. Megan Odegaard. Alyssa Otto. Sadie Powman. Haley Pazur. Kendra Peck. Andrea Palmer. Anna Peterson. Adrienne Peterson. Regan Powers. Leah Queck. Megan Reno. Kendra Riley. Emily Sass. Francis Shepard. Jordan Silbernagel. Hannah Slagle. Catherine Soliday. Kesha Sonnenberg. Alexandra Steckler. Caitlin Stein. Leah Steiner. Brett Struve. Rebecca Susamil. Jordan Tuttle. Mariah Vanderwall. Julie Van Coolen. Morgan Walls. Dominic Weber. Jera Weeks. Hope 
Why he? Brittany Welbig. Michaela Wendland. Hannah Williams. Kelsey Whipf. Brandilyn Wallace. Angela Woolman. Mackenzie Zimmerman. Rebecca Zaniel. Nikki Zobel. Thank you, Dean Olson. Bruce Bredanier, Dean of the Jerome J. College of Engineering, will introduce the graduates of the College of Engineering. President Dunn, the following graduates are prepared to improve our lives by helping solve our most challenging problems in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Jordan Beck. Matthew Cole. Tia Muller. Nicholas Carroll. Michael Schultz. Shelby Ragey. Macy Zeinstra. Gabrielle Zizi, Ahmed Abul Hassan, Ali Alinizi, Muhammad Al Haikbari, Abdullah Al Kudahi, Shahad Al Kudahi, Abigail Berg. Cassandra Borden, Matthew Binger, Tyler Cleveland, Taylor Dewar, Austin Frozig, Emmanuel Gebri, Jenna Girard. Evan Greenway, Riley Heck, Matthew Hoffman, Graham Huckins, Jamie Hyde, Sam Ireland, Gunnar Kern, Brad Cook, William Cook, Andrea Kramer, Nathan Muschamp, Joshua Nelson, Rosanna Novellino, Nicholas Peterson, Jared Rothmeyer, Sarah Shaning, Daniel Sitter, Theodore Surseth, Jordan Tweet, Rebecca Urban, Benjamin Walter, Matthew Waraika. Cody Willett, Nicholas Zolnowski, Rezvi Ahmed, Adam Decker, Jacob Gordon, Jonathan Hedman, Jared Hudson, Mark Kirschenman, Kyle Kolda, 
Yasindu Pathirana. Daniel Pengra. Benjamin Rolf. Jacob Simondet. Jaden Stading. Brock Totman. Sean Walter. Hindapathdeni Wijisuraya. Connor Buell. Brody Elkins. Gregor Frazier. Thane Getz. Christopher Gullickson. Trevor Hansick. Wesley Heinrichy. Blake Hess. Justin Im. Adam Karst. Olivia Cracked. Cody Latusek. Alexander Madsen. Darren Meyer. Spencer Miller. Logan Robbie. Riley Schmidt. Lee Smith. Jacob Vitek. Lexi Weisbeck. Sierra Winter. Robert Zavagno. Samuel Ivanecki. Alexander Wade. Aaron Benson. Sterling Berg. Dugan Bradley. Brant Burkhard. Devin Cressy. Cole Donahue. Jared Fusselman. Matthew Knutson. Mariangel Machado Jimenez. Grant Metzger. Amanda Muller. Nathan Reinhout. Dylan Schuler. Evan Terrell. Brenton Thompson. Naif Yaha Barden. Talal Al Shahiri. Jeremy Brinkman. Dustin Dodd. Sindhu Manchanahali. Eugene Morley. 
Jacob Nachreiner. Logan Negus. Max Osmore. Samantha Bridges. Kimberly Coates. Broderick Gilbertson. Riley Haug. Cole Riach. Michelle Hecht. Lexi Lafave. Christina Lukshak. Sierra Lutz. JC McDonald. Cole Meester. Shay Olson. Sydney Palmer. Patrick Wynant. Alex Weasler. Nathan Remick. Hussam Alredadi. Emily Anderson. Taylor Anderson. Reed Behrens. Samuel Blair. Logan Betcher. Jason Brendan. Navodi Budika Wijakun Hereth Mudiansi. Nicholas Covington. Gabrielle D'Souza. Kenny Diaminda. Bradley Drake. Noah Greenfield. Matthew Fitzgerald. Jacob Gengelhoff. Austin G. Adam Jeffrey. Austin Habermel. Connor Hall. Brady Hollenbeck. Alex Hoyer. Austin Holser. Madeline Hotchkiss. Corey Jakes. Ethan Jones. Andrew Lentz. Andrew Kirshenman. Kiran Ranawira. Scott Landis. Stetson Lippert. Victor Labato da Silva Costa. Kevin Lund. Harry Mahilingham. Robin Matthew. Charmil Miseri. Zachary Needham. Bruce Ogwu. Anthony Peterson. Anna Schlepper. Jason Sheffert. Benjamin Schroeder. Easton Schuster. Peter Solberg. Ethan Steiner. Cecilia Streff. We Trin. Zachary Tucker. Tyler Wagey. Ross Wick. Carly Warman. 
Tanya Anderson. Adrian Wiracody. Brady Dam. Jackson Ewing. Emma Finkenbeiner. Cole Fisher. Matthew Fulkerson. Jacob Vanderheiden. Thank you, Dr. Bredanier. John Killifer, Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences, will recognize the graduates of that college. President Dunn, the following graduates of the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences are prepared to make successful contributions to their chosen professions in the areas of agriculture, food, and environmental sciences, all vital to the well-being of this nation, state, and world. Keith Abraham. Morgan Ackerman. Asia Albrecht. Brock Anderson. Haley Anderson. Mallory Anderson. Anthony Anker. Justin Antoff. Connor Archer. Colton Ahrens. Adam Ahrens. Jacob Arlt. Rachel Backer. Kirsten Barat. Jared Beshin. Tanner Bostian. Travis Beshin. Maggie Besher. Brianna Becker. Amy Beckstrand. Jamie Beckstrand. Macy Berg. Marissa Bergsing. Caitlin Burnt. Natasha Betton. Turner Blasius. Jessiana Borman. Tanner Bowman. Devin Brand. Sean Brainine. Brandon Bratch. Elliot Braun. Kurt Braun. Carla Bromenschenkel. Caitlin Brower. Joshua Brown. Tyler Brown. Jackson Brueggemann. Elizabeth Buckhouse. Leah Bunkers. Michael Burival. Joshua Cadwell. Jacob Karsten. McKenna Seck. Austin Broin. Stephanie Chowdick. Caitlin Chahosky. Jasmine Cisneros. Dorothea Clark. Thomas Cobb. Hannah 
Cole Grove. Alexander Colling. Sydney Cowan. Aaron Cuthrell. Alex Dolly. Jennifer Daly. Matthew Dane. Peyton DeYoung. Alexis Derrickson. Jennifer Demansky. Abigail Donkers. Daniel Domencini. Dusty Dykstra. Brandon Ebert. Lance Eide. Samantha Ellison. Michaela Emanuel. Jason Eral. Breck Erickson. Michaela Erickson. Reed Feller. Isaac Fest. Lacey Fields. Leah Filla. David Flannery. Eric Flanagan. Sharon Folk. Cody Franken. Ashley Froke. Laura Fry. Tristan Flea. Krista Fuas. Emily Gaspar. Kristen Geifer. Abigail Gierke. Landon Giles. Cody Gilliland. Mallory Glichinski. Olivia Grave. Zachary Grigiel. Alex Guttermson. Seth Guts. Autumn Hahn. William Haas. Samantha Hagedorn. Marcus Hahn. Logan Hammer. Joseph Hankins. Lacey Hansen. Haley Hansen. Shelby Hansen. Benjamin Hansen. Jacob Harms. Ty Harris. Alyssa Hatcher. Cole Hauge. Stephanie Hauger. Jenna Hayoungs. Emily Heiberger. Andrew Hine. Katie Hendrickson. Rachel Hepfner. Emily Hermson. Dylan Hare. Matthew Harpstad. Braden Hinker. Jared Hintz. Katherine Hodge. Carson Hofer. 
Heidi Hoftizer. Eric Hokinson. Madison Hokinson. Harley Hugendorn. Nicholas Hossel. Jacob Howard. Jordan Howe. Cole Hoyer. Jennifer Huber. Zoe Huntley. Hey. Patrick Hybertson. Jacob Jewett. Riley Johnson. Ryan Johnson. Shay Youngworth. Wyatt Caping. Hannah Cast. Christina Kastanek. Caleb Curvin. Mariah Kessler. Ellis Johnson. Taylor Kaiser. Austin Kittleson. James Kleinschmidt. Jacqueline Knutson. Keaton Knutson. Megan Knutson. Matthew Cook. Lane Conrad. Tyler Krober. Callie Kukuchka. Colton Kunkel. Brandon Laborde. Chelsea Langbean. Scott Lenuay. Wyatt Larson. Kyle Laveau. Jennifer Lavoy. Dustin Lair. Nicholas Lean. Luke Lick. Zachary Luigi. Alexander Luke. Anthony Lynn. Austin Mag. Michael Madsen. Melissa Malakowski. Sarah Manderfeld. Mohit Manaj Katkar. Lane Marianow. Andrew Marks. Dylan Marks. Gabriel McKinney. Mitchell Melhoff. Haley Meyer. Nicholas Mikesell. Alexandra Miller. Uday Mishra. Reed Mitchell. Elizabeth Mitzel. Alicia Mogler. Taylor Moline. Allison Mackler. Derek Moore. Landon Morlock. Last name. Jennifer Miller. Brianna Mueller. Shane Mueller. Riley Mullaney. Renee Nering. Henry Nyans. Ashley Nye. 
Matthew Obermeyer. Mark O'Brien. Caitlin Olgenbruns. Madison Okerstrom. Bailey Olson. Connor Olson. Luke Orr. Nicholas Overgaard. Ashley Nilsson. Jacqueline Pyle. Jennifer Perryman. Lonnie Peterson. Kaylin Platz. Leah Polachewski. Austin Popkin. Megan Popkus. Jacob Post. Alexandra Presler. Sydney Preedy. Travis Punsack. Kayla Post. Tamara Putz. Chantal Rates. Andrew Radke. Madeline Rager. Robert Reifenrath. Joshua Reimers. Ashley Reiner. Emily Resch. Rachel Ryer. Mackenzie Rue. Dylan Riedel. Sydney Riemenschneider. Nolan Rhine. Jackson Ringcob. Rebecca Roberson. Marcus Rodriguez. Blake Rotman. Catherine Rogers. Austin Rosso. Daniel Roker. Brendan Roth. Christian Roseboom. Martina Rutledge. Thomas Salentini. Mary Sarah Sauber. Jacob Samuelson. Samantha Schaefer. Michael Scheitler. Brandon Schiefelbein. Skyler Schiefelbein. Star Shipper. Vanessa Schlenner. Lacey Schmitz. Andrea Schubloom. Zachary Schwartz. Christopher Salar. Spencer Shaw. Jacob Sin. Andrew Shutrop. Han C. Whitley Sieverding. Caitlin Siltonen. Troy Scar. Chelsea Smith. Rochelle Smith. Leslie Solis. Grant Sonic. Derek Sokup. 
Zachary Sosa. Penny Spike. Andrea Strong. John Steubendick. Cheyenne Tease. Michaela Tepfer. Kyle Tews. Nicholas Timmerman. Mitchell Timp. Abigail Toft. Samantha Toft. Daniel Tomasello. Antonio Topeti. Alex Topol. Chauncey Trapp. Jessica Triebwasser. Seth Tupper. Dylan Van Holland. Kyle Van Laren. Brandon Van Osdel. Rebecca Van Regenmorter. Travis Vanderstreek. Amy Jo Vanderwall. Jared Van Riswick. Natasha Vermeulen. Abigail Vlamink. Alexandra Vilcek. Danielle Volkel. Benjamin Wagner. Mackenzie Wagner. Sarah Wambecki. Libby Warner. Tyler Warren. Jared Weber. Thomas Weikley. Joshua Weinheimer. Hunter Welch. Heidi Worsall. Dylan Wicks. Andrew Wiebenga. Natasha Wiest. Brittany Will. Samantha Williams. Hannah Wilner. Courtney Winkle. Lindsay Wallace. Sawyer Woolman. Cassidy Worrell. Logan Zeisler. Garrett Zimmer. Gavin Zimmer. Sean Zollner. Leslie Zubke. Adam Iacker. Paul Messner. Riley Meyer. Paige Phelan. Haley Wagonar. Mitchell Wagner. Austin Winchittle. Thank you, Dean Killifer. Charlene Wolf Hall, inaugural dean of our College of Natural Sciences, will recognize the graduates of that college. President Dunn, the following graduates of the College of Natural Sciences are well prepared as scientists, researchers, educators, and healthcare professionals. The future is bright, and so are they.
Mitchell Adams. Ahmad Albalawi. Alicia Anderson. Claire Arco. Cole Benson. Jason Baradad. Zachary Berg. Tate Beckholt. Abigail Boner. Thomas Bosma. Sienna Boss. Ali Brandner. Morgan Brower. Emily Brown. Nathaniel DeSpiegler. Sydney Eben. Sharif El Gayar. Clay Farland. Samantha Gervais. Chase Haben. Michaela Hacker. Hara Mubasher. Benjamin Haldcat. Austin Hyen. Jade Heilman. Haley Hinker. Tyler Howman. Belma Husik. Kirsten Heiser. A Daisy Ifesi. Maxwell Jakubiak. Benjamin Johnson. David Karst. Brianna Kaufhold. Carter Kiefer. Carolyn Kennedy. Adesola Ibitoye. Chandler Cloviter. Michelle Klein. Bradley Cruz. Jesse Keebler. Anna Kurtz. Catherine Lake. Ethan Life. Dustin Manzi. Camille Massman. Glody Mbaki Lubamba. Mark McLaughlin. Lindsay Miller. Agni Miskinis. Ashley Mutziger. Mara Neitzel. Davidson Nuanguo. Kayla Patterson. Emily Paulson. Madison Payne. Connor Peterson. Chase Peterson. Bram Pickner. Jasmine Peepo. Jackson Pond. Stephen Wegleitner. Garrett Quinn. Chantel Ryer. Meredith Rigmaiden. Brady Rude. Wyatt Rumroll. Nadi Shanika Kalawahandi. 
Dalton Skidmore, Corbin Smith, Sydney Snyder, Taylor Spees, Emily Stedman, Ariana Stenkamp, Brianna Sperlin, Zachary Stryer, Madison Swift, Megan Tweet, Madison Tyler, Caitlin Venner, S. Vinanagamge Samaranayake, Tate Voss, Taylor Wilhite, Melissa Woolman, Colette Wyke, Marie Zander, Hila Sadalasi Tefera, Isaac Wallace, Kari Wicks, Cully Williams, Sydney Zenk, Sydney Zimmerman, Hunter YG. As part of the true Jackrabbit celebration, please join the symphonic band in playing Ring the Bell, our fight song. Words can be found on page 50 of your program. moment of our ceremony. If you've not already done so, I invite each graduate to move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left side, showing that you are officially graduates of South Dakota State University. Thank you all for coming this morning. It has been a pleasure for me to preside at this 133rd commencement celebration. Graduates, you have now earned your degree. You have realized your dream. Let your imagination help you pursue an exciting future, and may your time as a jackrabbit serve you well on your road ahead. The 2019 commencement ceremony for South Dakota State University is now adjourned. Congratulations, and please rise for the retiring of the colors.
Please remain standing while the platform party exits.